green waste is in the thousands and thousands of cubic metres of waste. There's not space for that close to a lot of the areas where the waste is being generated. So BRV's partnered with Macedon Ranger Shire and we've established this Romsey site which has got the space to handle the volume of green waste that is being generated by our work. All the timber that comes over our waybridge is from storm damaged areas, logs and green waste, other LGAs, roadsides and storm ravaged properties, as well as flooded area in the Gibbs land. It's just a hive of activity. It's keeping jobs local and they're turning all of the timber and green waste into multiple usable products. It's all being used, nothing's going to waste and then it's all being sent back into the communities, um, which is just a fantastic initiative. John Zing Group has partnered up with Bushfire Recovery Victoria as the principal contractor. We can't do all this work ourselves. So we've got a whole lot of highly skilled consulting arborists who are helping us with assessments. We've got hazardous material specialists who are also on the assessment teams. We've got people working through our subcontracting team to get this work done as quickly as possible, as safely as possible and really as efficiently as possible to help impacted people get their lives back on track. We've got two sites, one at Yunar South and this one here at Romsey and they're both processing green waste and they're both really central to the success of the clean up program. You can have one of these really massive trees that have come, that's come down and then it's been picked up and cleaned up by our partners John's Ling Group and bought here and then processed and then that same tree can be returned to that property for further recovery works. And it's pretty amazing that it can then be used in a really great way. They'll get sort of weedy and algae and stuff like that'll grow on them. That'll be great. We're taking two truckloads of these root balls behind me up to our fish hatchery at Arcadia. Snags like this are great for fish habitat and river health. Large fish like our Murray Cod and Golden Perch love to hide in them and they sit there and they'll wait for prey and ambush them from behind the snags. Smaller fish also hiding away from the larger predators, so it creates a really valuable asset for our fish out lagoon at Arcadia. Whether it's being used for mulch or firewood or fence posts, it's just fantastic to see that all of the timber is being well utilised. This is our waybridge, it's 36 metres long. We use this to assess how much tonnage does it come from each property and report that back to BRV so that they can assess how much damage there was within the state. They empty into our processing area, the timber's then sorted and graded and then either milled or turned into mulch. This station here, we're putting points on the stakes for other LGAs to use with their tree planting programs. The offcuts from the stakes are then placed into bags for smoking chips. We've got a lot of Australian hardwood, eucalypts and other species, and we're turning them into fence posts and tree stakes, hoping to get back into the affected LGAs and into the affected farms themselves. It's great to see all this timber going back into the rivers and lakes and dams and lagoons around Victoria. Everything from the tip of the tree right down to the roots and the sawdust that we create in our process is repurposed. The VFA along with the Department of Environment and all the catchment management authorities across Victoria have used all these snags extensively in river systems and water systems across Victoria. We can't change what happened to communities on the 9th and 10th of June but what we can do is work really collaboratively with our partners to help solve some of the wicked problems that come up in recovery. Yeah.